Some people refuse to get well. They refuse recovery because they have built a system and the structure becomes comfortable. I've seen anxiety do some pretty terrible things, steal so much more than it ever gives. I've watched it hold back words from students too scared to speak. It takes your sleep, crushes the spirit. In the story you're about to hear, there's a man whose anxiety over using soap and water caused him not to bathe for over 60 years. I got my cup, I got my coat, and, right. and I'm prepared to be blind. I got my three square meals yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. In the Iranian village of Deja, there lived a man named Amu Haji. He lived there between a hole in the ground and a brick shack, and ate meat from porcupines that had been hit in the road. He would cut his hair, but not with scissors, but by burning it. He would often enjoy smoking a pipe with animal poo. He turned down offers of water, food, and attempts to help him to bathe from locals. The escape out of pain is a fleeting moment. It is passing by. Doctors say that the mental disorder the man is suffering from is called a bultophobia, or a fear of washing or bathing. It's usually triggered by some sort of childhood trauma earlier on. Symptoms include panic attacks, sweating, and rapid heartbeats. And these emotions like anxiety or fear or loneliness, they begin with an untruth. When you take your story away from the people who hurt you mm. and determine in your heart, whatever you did, it's okay. I still got there. Yeah. there you won't have any reason to be bitter. There you go. Yeah. <laughs>